changes no pads Games Expo with Courtney from Hi. Bubblegum Games. So, do you want to give us a little bit of a brief history about Bubblegum Games? Okay. Um, well, Bubblegum stuff, we actually started as a giveaway company originally. Uh, that's my history. Um, I worked in that industry. Um, and then probably about five, six years ago, we made some smaller card games, kind of some quick pick up and play, kind of I'd call icebreaker games that you'd start a night okay. with. Yeah. Um, and then since then we brought out a few more kind of like strategy games such as Plant Based Riot, yeah. which we launched last that year on Kickstarter. Year, yeah. 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 And then this year, this is our first ever board game that uh, we brought out called Death by Coconuts. Oh, um, based on the kind of factoid of that on average, every year 150 people die from falling coconuts. Wow. We thought that was a really <laughs> interesting fact. Um, more deadlier than sharks and it was like okay well there's, yeah, there's yeah. something there for a real interesting game so do you want to give us a little run through how it sure goes? yeah yeah so the story of the game is kind of you're trying to work your way over to eternal paradise you're stuck on purgatory, purgatory island uh, you've been on a cruise your cruise ship crashes and sinks like the titanic <laughs> and then you find yourself this little uh, flamingo inflatable you blow oh, yeah. it up you make your way onto Coconut Beach and then you get hit on the head by a coconut and then you have to ah. wait your, your way across the island. Okay, yeah. There's a number of features to Purgatory Island. Um, you've got uh, Roy's Lethal Lake, which you can take a shortcut across mm -hmm. if you land on this square here. Okay. There's things, there's multiple treasure chest cards. X marks the spot for those. Mm -hmm. um, if you land on one of these, you get to take one of the treasure chest cards. Okay. The majority of the cards are a positive, but there's yeah. some negative ones in there as well. Oh, um, there's some other features such as Old Steve's safe shack. Okay. Uh, if you land on here, um, you can't go back. It's kind of it's a checkpoint, ah, so okay, you can yeah. start. Um, it stops you from falling all the way back to the start. Um, and there's also a lava flow. So if you land on this square, it'll yeah. take you back four spaces. Ah, okay. Each player gets a colored counter mm -hmm. and three corresponding betting chips. Okay. Uh, each round, you must place your chips under which death you think is most deadly. Oh, now, the chips okay. are a measure of your confidence, really. Mm -hmm. You're going to be moving forwards or backwards by the number of chips that you bet. So if you're confident that you know the answer, I'd suggest betting by, with three chips. Okay. If you're not sure, I'd maybe only bet one, because if you get that wrong, you're going to be moving yeah, backwards. Yeah. So, should we demo it? Should we play around? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. What colour would you like to be first? Uh, can I go for... I'll go for orange. You're going to be orange, right. Yeah. So I'm holding purple, I might as well start. Yeah. Okay. That. Um, the player that goes first yep. is the oldest player. Because that person is closest to death. I'm 35. And me. Uh, October. <laughs> September. <laughs> so I'm older. <laughs> Perfect. We can cut that bit, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you get to bet yeah. first. What do you okay. think is most deadly? Piranhas? Falling pianos or bullfighting? Um, I'm gonna go for piranhas, but I'm not very confident. At the very start, yep. I'd suggest because you you can't go further uh, oh, okay. than where you are, I'll you go can go for all three chips. chips. However, as the game progresses, yeah, I'll I'd go. go for three. Okay. Right, I'm gonna go bullfighting. Okay. <laughs> well, falling pianos is 26. Six. Piranhas. Zero. Oh, no. Ball fighting. Seven. Seven. Ah, We're all losers. Okay. It is falling pianos. Can Amazing. you believe that? So right, for the moment we stay where we are. Okay. Next round. If you take your chips back. Yeah. We've got left-handed people using right-handed objects, <laughs> being crushed between objects. Yeah or projectile champagne corks. Now you may notice there's more information on there mm -hmm. uh, than I actually read out, because the game is not just about choosing what is most deadly, mm -hmm. but there's also locations and time periods. And right. so through the game, you've got to be working out, is it worldwide or is it just the US? Or is okay. it just UK? It can sometimes be um, somewhere very specific, so... and also a time frame. So some are annually, some are over a 15 year period, yeah. and this one's I feel annually. like... So it's I'm, my turn to bet first yeah, you this go time. First, yeah. I'm gonna go, what, my purple, I'm gonna go three chips on being crushed between objects. And so, because you've done, gone there, you can, can go, I, wherever I can you go want. there as well? Yeah, you can go wherever you want. And you can't split them between? No, you can't split, no. <laughs> Okay, I will go for... Right, 
Champagne corks, 24. <gasps> 1,800. Oh, wow, okay. I should have chose some cards where we uh, <laughs> move forward for the demo. Let's, let's try and get some other ones here. Um, it's climbing K2. Yeah. Constipation. Yeah. Or elephants. Mm. What do you reckon is most deadly? I'm going to go constipation. Okay. Elephants. Elephants. 600. Mm -hmm. Constipation, 2,167. Oh, you won that one. You won that one. Oh. So there we go. I finally there you go. Get to Perfect. Right. Let's go. The Spanish flu worldwide. Ooh. Food poisoning. Yep. In the UK. In the UK, or swimming pools mm. in the US and me. I am going so to go. So you've really got to work out here. UK is yeah. obviously smaller than the US, but it's food poisoning more deadly than swimming pools because it's kind of a similar time frame. Yeah, this. it is, yeah. But uh, then Spanish flu is a pandemic. I'm going to go for that. <laughs> I said pandemic. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it probably was. I, I think swimming pool would have been the you right reckon? one. Yeah. 390. Yeah. Food poisoning. 180. Spanish flu. That's definitely more. Yes! You've just, you've just celebrated 50 million people. No, dying. don't say I just that. wanna <laughs> <laughs> so Man, that's it's not bad. In this game. It's, it, it has some dark elements, but yeah. it's done in such a light-hearted way that you're gonna be celebrating I love that. Uh, 50 million people dying from so Spanish flu. I, I would have gone one, two, three, and you'd have gone one, two, three. Wait, so I got the short yeah, I get the shortcut. And so you actually take that, you don't have to No, you just go straight across the shortcut there. Um, That's brilliant. So yeah, it's a fun game. It lasts around 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, we recommend it's from ages 10 and above. Yeah. I just played it with some kids that are eight years old and their parents yeah, yeah. loved it with them. So, uh, That's brilliant. Yeah, as I say, it's done in a light-hearted way. Okay, so if people wanted to pick this game up, um, obviously they can come to see you at the stand at Expo. Yeah. If people can't come to Expo, where can they pick the game up? So we launched it two days ago uh, wow. on Kickstarter. Okay. We got to a really strong start. The standard edition that you see here is 20 five pounds to back us okay. um, we've also got some optional extras as well so it comes with 250 cards in the pack um, but we also have a dark and dirty deaths which has okay. kind of um, some more morbid stuff in there as well yeah. as some sexual references okay. uh, that's an extra five pounds for that edition and um, we've also got a movie edition so you've got James Bond Harry Potter uh, the Death Star kind yeah. of there's all crazy oh, movie deaths cool. in there that one's also an option extra for five pounds, or we've got a cocktail party edition, which is all of it together mm -hmm. uh, for 35 pounds. That's good, that's brilliant. So we've got the details of the Kickstarter yep. here, which you've already done. Um, so what's the future for Bubblegum stuff? Future, more board games, I think. We've had so much fun designing this one. Mm. Uh, we've got a couple of more uh, party games in the pipeline. Yeah. Um, and we've got some exciting games, some kids ones as well, uh, that involve, you know the game uh, flipping beer mats, you have to okay, catch yeah, them? Yeah. We've got that one, which is like a hamburger coaster, so you've got to put up your burgers. So that's, uh, that's cool. that one's called Flipping Burgers, that'll be coming out next year. So yeah. That's um, yeah. So lots come, of more to look forward to. Come back to. next year and we'll yeah. play some more fun games. That's perfect. Are you on Instagram and Facebook and everything yes, so we people are. can find you there? Yep, you can yep. find us at uh, Bubblegum Stuff. Perfect. That's brilliant. Lovely. Thank you ever so much. Bye everyone.